Hello everyone, today is August 26th and today I'm going to be doing two separate videos. In this video I'll be reading yesterday morning's message from the Lord. And if you are new to this channel, welcome. This channel exists because about a year ago I started hearing from a, the Lord in a way I never knew was possible. He told me to tell anyone who would listen that he is coming soon. And uh, around that time my, my family was was redeemed by the Lord. He heard our cries and he rescued us and he he picked us up and set us on a rock. And my husband too, one of the first things the Lord said to him was that he was coming soon. He was returning. And to watch the signs, he told my husband. And my husband, he didn't grow up with any kind of uh, training in the church or anything like that. So he did not know what that meant. And he was looking around at the world for a long time at different signs, property signs and road signs and different things. He wasn't sure uh, what he was looking for. So uh, the Lord has trained him so, so amazingly over the last year and a half. Um, he's grown so much. And um, I, I want to say also here that I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, he, I worship and love him. He is the savior of the world. I believe the Holy Bible is the inspired word of God and that it's true. Jesus was the solution to our sin problem. Uh, he was God himself become man and he dwelt among us and he lived a sinless spotless life he was 100 percent man he was 100 percent god he was planted in the virgin mary by god himself so he was not born under adam like you and i you and i were all headed to the same place if not for jesus jesus offered the free gift of salvation there's nothing that you and i can do to earn it it's a free gift of grace and all we have to do is believe in jesus as our Lord and Savior and believe he paid your sin debt. Jesus was crucified on the cross. He was a sinless, spotless lamb. He paid the penalty of sin for all man. And he was buried and he rose on the third day and he lives currently, he's alive and he is seated at the right hand of the Father in heaven. While he was on earth, he did not do anything that he didn't see his father do first. He was a reflection of God's love for his children. And because of what Jesus did, we are positioned before the father as clean and as righteous, uh, all because of the work on the cross. Um, Jesus is part of the triune God, the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. God desires to have an intimate and personal relationship with each of his children. And this uh, channel is just here because he has shown me in such a profound way what that means, in a way I never knew could be possible. He said that I would not save the best for myself, but I would share my inheritance with others uh, in Christ Jesus. So that is what, why this channel is here. And uh, that is what I have attempted to do is to not save the best for myself, but to share the journey with all of you so that you can be inspired by it. And so that you can to seek the Lord in a personal and intimate way and, and have expectations that when you ask, he will answer. When you seek, you will find when you knock, the door will be opened. Um, that is a promise. And that is, uh, kind of a command. Ask, seek, knock. He wants us to do those things. All right, so the, yesterday morning, my husband came into the room and he was excited because he had opened his Bible just randomly to the end of Romans and it was the final greetings and he didn't think much of it, but then he randomly opened it to that same place again. So he took note of it. And as, as is often the case, it spoke directly to uh, some circumstances in my own personal walk and just confirmed um, confirmed so much for me. So I'm going to share that with you today. The end of uh, Romans. If you haven't read Romans, what a jam-packed book of the Bible. Man, Paul has some wisdom and some understanding and some knowledge of the Lord. And then there's so much in there. I could read it over and over and over and over again. But anyway, Romans chapter 16. 
verses 17 through uh, 20. I urge you, brothers, to watch out for those who cause divisions and put obstacles in your way that are contrary to the teaching you have learned. Keep away from them. For such people are not serving our Lord Christ, but their own appetites. By smooth talk and flattery, they deceive the minds of naive people. Everyone has heard about your obedience, so I am full of joy over you. But I want you to be wise about what is good and innocent about what is evil. The God of peace will soon crush Satan under your feet. The grace of our Lord Jesus be with you. And then right at the end, now to him who is able to establish you by my gospel and the proclamation of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery hidden for long ages past, but now revealed and made known through the prophetic writings by the command of the eternal God, so that all nations might believe and obey him to the only wise God be the glory forever through Jesus Christ. Amen. All right, so yesterday I received the following word from the Lord. August 25th, 2023. Melissa, my child, you have not yet determined how I am able to speak these words to you. You still wonder at this and doubt after all this time. Daughter, how do I get you to perceive that I am the one at work in you? You do not need to fear, daughter. I am going to deliver on every word I have spoken in your ear. It has been me. Do not worry about tomorrow. Do not wonder how and when I will do this. Just know that I will. Melissa, the days gone by are like a fleeting breath. All will happen at the appointed time. I am the creator of heaven and earth. I alone establish the seasons and the courses of the earth and its inhabitants. Melissa, the days are going to become like nothing you have ever thought to imagine. The days ahead are going to ignite the earth into a huge revival. They will again remember my name. I am going to hasten the day now. I am going to bring it forth. Do not wonder about what this means. I will tell you now. The days are going to grow in intensity. They are going to show the level of deception in the earth. They will reveal the schemes of the enemy and they will make men shudder. Men will wonder how they could have allowed such deception in. They will want to be cleansed and set free from the enemy within. Melissa, men are like Play-Doh. <laughs> It's like, okay, they are molded and shaped by enemy hands, and it is pleasurable to the enemy to play in this way. Do not fear. Even in this, I am sovereign. Even in this, I reveal truth. Even in this, I am able to deliver all that I have promised. Melissa, the enemy is not the master builder. Their man, I'm sorry. Melissa, the enemy is not the master builder. When man remembers my name, he will no longer be as Plato. He will become a great army, solid and unwavering. He will become an adversary to the enemy, no longer a plaything. Melissa, the time of my coming is at the door. I'm going to reveal the truth and it will set the captives free. There remain so many who still sleep. However, many are waking from their slumber and are beginning to see. Hear me, daughter, I am guiding this pen. Do not wonder if it is me, do not fear. You are safely held even now. You have had fits of doubt. You have been tested by fire and you have come out stronger for it. Melissa, this has all been part of training. You are being prepared for battle. Yes, the lines have been drawn. Soon all will know who lies in enemy territory in need of rescue and who has eyes to see. Dear one, you are not proud. You are not arrogant. You are learning and growing, but there's still much to be accomplished. You are still being refined and reshaped and reformed by my mas masterful hands. Keep coming to me, daughter. Come for your rest, your renewal, your strength, and your deliverance each and every day. Stay close to my side. Do not give up. Do not back down. You are mine and I am yours, and nothing can snatch you from my right hand. You are safely held. Melissa, I hold it all. Even the parts you do not understand, I understand. I see all. I know all. I will establish and bring, I will bring forth and I will rescue and I will accomplish all that has been set before me to accomplish. It is already done. Daughter, who can know the end from the beginning? Who can stand above and below, behind and before? Who can hold it all in the palm of his hand? Rest, daughter. I am capable. I am trustworthy. I am faithful and true. 
I will set this world on fire for my glory, and it will be good. It will be unlike anything the world has ever seen. I am not a man that I should lie, but I am the great I am, the ancient of days, sovereign, almighty God, prince of peace, everlasting love. That is my name. I said, Lord, today I am wondering about when I heard the door of the ark close. What does that mean for today? Help me to understand. Melissa, you are right to ask me questions. You are right to seek the truth. The ark door being shut was a symbol and a sign. It was a breakthrough into your awareness. It was revealing the supernatural protection placed around my children as we enter into the final season. My sheep are safe. They are not going to be misled. They are not going to be food for prey. They are going to overcome. They are going to be delivered to dry ground, dry land, feet firmly established. So I don't know every, if everyone listening heard that, but one morning I woke up or it was the middle of the night or something and I heard this loud scraping sound. It sounded like wood on wood and then a slam. And out of my mouth, I just said, the arc of the door has just been shut. And I just was like, where did that come from? And why did I say that? And um, that was a while back. And so I was just, there was a moment where it was just silent. I was, I was waiting on the Lord for, for more words, and that question came to my mind, so I asked him about it. Brothers and sisters, sons and daughters, the days ahead are but a vapor. I am not done, but the time is here. It is all happening. The final chapter gets the most attention. You will soon see the story unfold, and many delivered from the traps and the snares and the chains that bind. I am leading this army. I am, command, I am the commanding officer. I will train up warriors and soldiers that obey my voice. They will resist the enemy and drive him out. Lord, is this great revival before or after the rapture? What do you want me to know and understand about this? Because I've heard different things. People believe different things about that. And a lot of people don't even believe in the rapture. But the Lord tells me that there is a rapture. I don't know exactly what it will look like. Um, I have seen lots of people having rapture dreams that don't even know what the rapture is until they have a dream. And the Lord tells them through their dream to go and tell everyone. So I believe that there is a rapture. If you haven't looked online at all the people having rapture dreams, it's phenomenal. So I do believe that we are in the time when his spirit is being poured out. And I think if you're watching these things, your lamp's going to get filled up with hope because it's happening. Melissa, the rapture sets the stage for great revival, and great revival is happening even now. This wave keeps growing and building and will wash over the earth, a great tidal wave of cleansing. The enemy plots and schemes. He attempts to thwart my plans, but nothing can hold back my hand when I move. Melissa, I have no rival. Understand deeply what this means. You are beginning to see, and you are starting to know. I hold it all. Go now. Prepare for your day. Care for your family. I love you, daughter. You heard well. Fasten your seatbelt. Turbulence ahead, but do not fear. I am driving. We journey on, and we soar above. Keep your eyes fixed on me. And then I got a list of scripture and words. Leviticus 2.11, Leviticus 2.8. So I'm going to put in there Leviticus 2, 8 through 11, because I think he corrected me. Generations of sin. Repent, for the kingdom of God is here. Jesus, lover of my soul, Jesus, I will never let you go. You've taken me from the miry clay, set my feet upon a rock, and now I know. That song just came into my mind, um, and that is my testimony. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know if Jesus was near or far, and I was definitely sinking in the mud. I was desperate. And I repented and I cried out for help. And he did pick my family up and set us on a rock. Deuteronomy 6, 8. I think Philippians 2, 4 through 6. Matthew 8, 4. That's about leprosy. He's talked to us about leprosy. And the interesting thing is um, he told the leper to first go and show the religious leaders that he was, that he was clean. Song of Solomon 3, 4 through 10. Lamentations 1, 8 through 11, Genesis 4, 6, and Genesis 8, 4. Again, I heard the name Bartholomew. I don't know why he speaks that to me, what that means exactly. Forgiveness, purification, deliverance, 
the best is yet to come. Follow me to the finish, I am coming for my bride. She will be spotless. 1 Timothy 1, 6 through 8. Search this out. Find time for me. Listen for me. I heard food of preparation. And then Jehovah Jireh. 1 Peter 1, 8 through 9. Revelation 22, 1 and 2. Philemon 1, 2 through 4. Proverbs, the whole chapter of 6, the whole chapter of 8. Love lifted me. Song, sing songs of praise and thanksgiving, for great is your reward in heaven. I heard matchless days, sovereign God, honey from the rock. And that is the word I received yesterday, and I will see you in the next video. God bless you.